As it continues to face expensive feeds, the average feedlot continues to lose double-digit money on each head of cattle at markets. Jim McDonald joined us earlier this week to look at optimizing days in the feedlot and how losses could push some to change their selling mentality. Uh, well, it could be. The intuition for most feedlots, feedlot producers, would be probably to sell cattle early. Uh, if every day that they're in the feed yard, they're losing money, right? You want get, to get them in and get them out as quickly as possible. Um, Feedlard losses per head this year are in the 40 to 70, 75 dollar range for a, a calf going on feed this fall and coming out into the spring. So uh, profitability doesn't look very good. So as you said, we're looking right. for ways to minimize loss rather than maximize profit. And that's probably better than it has been even. Uh, recently, <laughs> yes. Um, so there's a, so there's a principle in cattle feeding that says you want to continue to feed cattle until the cost of putting on a pound of gain is greater than the price that you receive for that pound of gain. So it's fairly well accepted that the longer cattle are on feed, uh, their feed efficiency, the efficiency at which they utilize feed is declining. And so again, uh, knowing that producers typically want to try to pull the trigger early when they're losing money uh, to minimize that loss. You did studies to see if that might be the best practice to use. You're looking at both live weight and a carcass weight basis on these cattle. How did you track it that's different? Because normally you see the weight, as you said before, you see the weight when you go into the feed yard, you see the weight when you come out. So what are you looking at that's different? Well, what's basically impossible for an individual feed yard to track is how the change in performance uh, or how cattle are changing in performance daily. Mm -hmm. As you said, they know what they weighed when they came in and they know what they weighed when they came out and they know how much they ate on average over that feeding period and so they have a feed efficiency number. Uh, but to know how efficiency is changing throughout the feeding period is basically impossible to track on an individual set of cattle. Uh, fortunately through the university system uh, we, we regularly uh, weigh cattle throughout our feeding period uh, in any research trial that we do and we've got uh, good information from the literature that we can estimate carcass weight from live body weight. And so we can track how average daily gain is changing both on a body weight basis and on a carcass weight basis throughout the feeding period. From those numbers, what are you looking at? What is it, what is it best to do? What's the analysis here? Well, uh, if, you're, if you're marketing on a, on a live basis, which relatively few producers in Nebraska would do, uh, you probably want to market uh, about to the same endpoint that you would normally do. So if a calf is on feed for 140 or 150 days, our analysis would say that on average that's about the optimal time to minimize your loss. Uh, if you're marketing on a carcass weight basis uh, or selling in the beef, our analysis would say that you would probably want to feed them longer than what you normally would. And the reason for that is even though efficiency is declining through the feeding period, efficiency on a live weight basis and efficiency on a carcass weight basis change differently. So that the transfer of weight from the live animal to the carcass increases through the feeding period. So for example, early on in the feeding period, every pound that that animal gains, about 60% of that is going on to the carcass. At the end of the feeding period, every pound that that animal, every additional pound that animal is gaining, 90% of that goes on to the carcass. So it benefits you if you're selling on a carcass weight basis to continue to feed those cattle longer. And to reiterate then, that would be contrary to what we suggest in the beginning that uh, it feels like you want to get them out of the feedlot as soon as possible. Right. Uh, if, if I'm paying the feed cost on those set of cattle, uh, knowing that efficiency on a live basis, knowing that my feed efficiency is going down, every day that they continue to be in the feed yard, that's a pretty hard thing for me to, to, there's no incentive there for me to want to continue to feed them, right? And so we need to be thinking on a carcass weight basis rather than on a live weight basis. So efficiency on a carcass basis is not declining at the same rate that it is on a, on a live weight basis. And so you're not continuing to lose money, uh, or at least as, a, as much money as you would if you would sell them on a live weight basis.